so hello hello it is monday evening i am gonna do a quick little unboxing and then i'm gonna vlog the rest of my evening so i wasn't planning on getting a new case for my phone until whenever i was planning on getting one but not right now but i had a balance left on my poshmark because i sold a couple things i found this really cute case that i wanted so i got it so this is a cute little packaging like look at the packaging it's marble and gold it's cute i didn't even know that it was coming today because or when if I was gonna get it but this is it in the bubble wrap and this is it in the paper before I open it so this is the case it's so cute and the inside is holographic like look at that that is so cool and the side of it is just it's pink and then look it's so cute like I don't even want to cover this up with anything I need some kind of grip or something on it I hate to cover it up though but I can't use it and not have something it is so cute it has like these clouds there's a cloud there and there's a little cloud right there it's so cute yeah I want to turn my vlog light on but I don't even have it plugged up hold on so I want y'all to see how pretty this case actually look how pretty and I'm normally not into like butterfly type of thing this is just so damn pretty like, look at that. And it's really soft on the sides. Like, look at the glitter. I love it. So now, I just need to get a grip of some sort to put on the back of it. We'll be good to go. So this is a cute little treat for my phone. For myself. Oh. I am going to go cook something now. One of my Hello Fresh meals that I got. But I'm gonna put my own little spin on it because I had got these shepherd's pie from Walmart Saturday. And I cooked two of them in the well baked them in the oven because they come frozen. And they're decent, but the mashed potatoes, the consistency of the mashed potatoes is not right. So I'm just going to add those to one of my Hello Fresh meals and kind of change it a little bit, but still kind of stay true to it. Because one of my Hello Fresh meals does not have meat. It's a mushroom recipe, which I'm totally fine with, but now I'm going to add meat to it because my shepherd's pie has hamburger meat clearly beef i'm gonna just add that to it and i'm gonna bake the other shepherd's pie because i got three of them well i don't know i might not add that one i don't know we'll see yeah that's what i'm gonna go make one of my hello fresh meals that i got for this week but i'm gonna add the shepherd's pie to it so that i don't have to throw the shepherd's pie away and it'll add some meat to this mushroom dish I'm gonna do that and I have some baseball games coming on tonight let me just check and make sure because baseball came back yesterday yep I have two games I have one at 8 o'clock and one at 11 o'clock so and then one at 2 a.m. I was supposed to go get my nails did today but I just didn't want to get up early so I'm making them done tomorrow but I'm gonna go cook because I'm starving and I'm gonna come back later and put my case on my phone. I'm excited. It's so cute. I love it. I just put the thing back in it. 
um, just a little until I put it on. Okay, let's go cook. showing y'all me prepping everything but I had a situation happen I didn't get to do that but I'm just gonna show you everything that is prepped and me assembling the flatbread so this is the toasted garlic um, not these I'm gonna eat these separately this is the chives that I cut up that's the cheese that's gonna go on it I might add some of my Fiesta blend cheese. That's the chicken that I made separately that's gonna go on it. That's the flatbread that I just took out of the oven. This is the sauce for the flatbread, the roasted tomatoes, and the roasted zucchini. I am about to assemble everything now and cut it up and put it back in the oven, let it all marry. that edge that I burned I'll just cut that off it looks so good I did that yes honey looks so bomb I'm so glad I added the chicken which for me I need meat like I can't eat a veggie dish I need meat so glad I have the chicken, but I always have chicken though. I'm, I'm about to cut it and sit down and eat. So this is what it looks like up close. You see, I did have to cut off some of the corners because I burned the corners, but that's okay. This is how it looks. It looks so good. Super excited to eat this. Four of them up in the zone. My first time ever well, making a flatbread. I don't think it's my first time having it, having a flatbread, but it's definitely my first time making one. Thanks, Hello Fresh, for me having chicken already to put on it. So, good morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. It's 9 52. And as you can see, I'm in my bed, but I'm not going to sleep. I'm taking a nap because I got to be back at the nail shop at 12 and it's 9.52. Long story short, I have been trying to get my nails done for three days. I have called my nail shop for the past three days. I called them. Sunday, I called them. Yesterday, I called them at 9.04 this morning. They opened up at 9.00. And finally I said okay I'm just gonna go down there so I get down there and I'm telling the girl I've been calling y'all for three days I haven't answered the phone I left two voicemails they didn't call me back in the three days which that in itself is it's unprofessional that I called three days it's unprofessional that nobody answered the phone for three days it's unprofessional that I left a voicemail nobody called me back and I get down there and the girl's like come back at 12 and I'm like are you kidding me like I stayed up all night like y'all know I'm a vampire I go to bed in the morning but I would have been asleep I stayed up so that I can get my nails done get my nails uh, filled my toes painted and my eyebrows done come back home and go to sleep and sleep in really late so I stayed up all night I've been calling y'all for three days nobody has called me back and you tell me to come back at 12. And then she called her attitude. Do you want to take the 12 or not? 
I'm gonna take the 12th today because my nails desperately need to be done. But after today, I am gonna find me a new nail salon. I am done with them because I had already been thinking about it. But I was like, you know what? No, I'll stay. I'm gonna be loyal. After this, the fact that I've called for three days, that is so unprofessional. No client should ever call any business for three days to no avail. Nobody answers the phone. Nobody calls them back. I left them my number to call me back. Nothing. And then I walk in and you don't apologize when I say that. As a business, you should be saying, oh my God, I'm so sorry that you've been calling us for three days and we've been so busy. That should never happen. That is so fucking unprofessional. And then you catch an attitude with me. But essentially, me and every one of your other clients, we pay your bills. Without our money, you can't pay your bills. And you're catching an attitude after three days of not answering me. Oh no, I'm going to take my business elsewhere. I'm going back at 12. But after today, I'm done with this nail salon. Within the next two weeks of me needing to get my nails done again, after today, I will be finding me a new nail salon. I'm done with them, like, so unprofessional. But I'm gonna take me a little nap until probably about 11.25, 11.20, 11.25, and get back up and head back to the nail salon, and then come back home and go back to sleep. I'm so exhausted, like, I'm so pissed off right now. But it's fine. I'll take my coins somewhere else after today. So, hello, hello. It is Wednesday. Late, well, early evening. I guess it's 5, 10 p.m. I am starting my day. I just got out of the shower. I'm about to put, take some clothes out of the washing machine, put my rug that is normally right here on the floor in the dryer so I washed it this morning because I spilled some soda on it and then put another load of clothes in the washing machine and then I'm gonna come flat iron my hair and I'm gonna eat and I do want to explain because y'all might be seeing it over the next few days I do have a cold sore on my lip and I don't need nobody thinking oh she got herpes number one in order to have herpes you have to have sex I've had sex once in almost 14 years I've been celibate and the last time I had sex was a year and a half ago so highly unlikely that's what it is you gotta be fucking to, to get that but I've been getting these since I was 10 years old I've always gotten them as a lot of people some people is just in our genetics we get cold sores my dad used to always tell me that it keeps you from getting sick and I believe it because growing up I never got sick I got sick maybe once every two, three years. But when I did, I got really sick, but I never got sick. Like, you know, some people get sick once a year, twice a year when the weather changes, they get sick. I still to this day never really get sick. Um, so I definitely believe that's what it is, but it's nothing that I can control. I've been getting them since I was 10 years old. I get them about once a year. It is what it is, but it's definitely not herpes. It's just something I get been, get been getting them my whole life but I just wanted to explain that yeah I'm gonna go put these clothes in the dryer take out the dryer in the washing machine and start my day and waiting for my mom to uh, come back from picking up my son uh, from his dad's house and my mom is off of work for the next month because she was having an issue with her foot and they had to put a boot on it and my mom is a custodian at Disney World so clearly she can't work with a boot on her foot and she has to lift heavy stuff all day her doctor put her on medical leave for the next month that should be interesting having her home every day for a month y'all pray for me but start my day let's go and I hope everybody is having a good Wednesday
I just did my hair with no mirror because I was watching something on YouTube. Okay, so I don't know why the audio cut out in every single one of these snaps. I don't know, I'm sorry, but basically what I was saying is if you hear that noise in the background, that's my mom wrapping her leg before she gets in the shower, so I told you away. But um, basically, I was showing you the oil that I use in my hair when I flat iron my hair, which is my breathing in oil that is really meant to use like in a um diffuser because i have a diffuser and i also put it in my mask when i wear my mask sometimes because it helps me helps me breathe better um you don't need to be a but it has essential oils in it so i put it in my hair just so that my scalp can like, i hate breathe it. um when i let my hair I just feel like it just needed again after cutting so, um, and when it gets to like this so, that's basically what I was showing y'all. And I was basically saying how I don't like my hair being the length that it is right now. Anytime that my hair has been straight, whether it's permed or now blown out, when I cut it and let it grow back, this is like the awkward stage for me. I don't like this stage. Uh, it's just a weird link to me and I don't like how it looks to a certain extent when it's at this stage so that is basically what I was saying right here but you know I have to go through this stage to get it back to the length that I want it to be now that I realize I really don't want my hair short after I just cut it in oh, October yeah, that is still good. you live and you learn basically just showing that the back is good it's more so like the front that I think is an awkward length um, and I was just showing where the back is in comparison to where it was when I cut it back in October when I cut it back in October it was at the very edge of my neck and now the back is at the bottom of my neck so that's how much the back has grown and the front was at like the top of my or the bottom of my cheekbone and now it's at the edge of my neck so that's how much the front has grown uh, it's almost at my shoulders so I'm just showing or I'm talking about how much it's grown and how fast it's growing it's definitely at a growth spurt right now I'm noticing that only every week um, but my hairstylist also puts this stuff in my hair that she says it makes the hair grow really quick and she says a lot of her clients notice how fast their hair grows from the stuff that she puts in her hair so that could be what it is but my hair has grow spurts it, it's done this even when it was natural it would just have times where it would just grow really fast uh, that's just kind of how my hair grows anyway so that's basically what I'm talking about is how fast it's growing right now, which is a plus because I'm in a hurry to get it to the length where I want it. Not back long like it was, but like a middle length where it's not short, but it's not long in between. Uh, so I'm definitely in a hurry for it to get there. You'll have to wait and see what length that is along with me because I have to wait for it to grow. But that's the same thing. But yeah, the back is like a little bit past the top of my neck. And it was like... I'm gonna have it be choppy. I'm not gonna have it all be one lean. I like the choppy, edgy look. Like how, like.
And here I'm just basically explaining that I like more of the choppy look, like I'm not gonna have all my hair be one length. I don't like that. I like an edgy look. I think hair being all one length is boring and dull. Your hair should have personality, no matter if it's long, short, in between. It needs to be edgy, it needs to be fun. It needs to have its own personality and not be boring and normal. Um, so, when I do get it to the length that I want it to be at, it is still going to be a very edgy and choppy haircut. I don't ever want all of my hair to be one length again. I, you know, want to be edgy. My personality is edgy, so my hair needs to be edgy. So that's basically what I was saying. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.